Hi guys, welcome to this operating system and it's built with the ISO of Arclinx D and later on I've just installed the HDWM. Topic of the video is a message we see lately and the message is saying, let me read it out loud, set font KD font OP. So KD F O N T O P function not implemented. You can't find it in the sudo D message, which would be a very good idea to do, right? So look at the messages we get here. And it's not in the journal CTL, which also would be a great thing to look at logs. If you, if you go with me and you search the internet, Arch Linux and then um, KD font OP, right? You find a lot of things solved December 2022 and here in Garuda Linux and here in Manjaro and here in Arclix form, right? Function not implemented. So lots of information to the question. Now, this has been maybe three, four days, right? Since we've seen it. And you should, I have, and you should have the reflex to say, nah, they'll fix it. And it's true, right? In Arch Linux world, after six years being on, on Arch Linux, and Arch Linux, right? It's the feeling that in one, two, three days max, things that, that pop up, like these small things, right? They get to be, they solve themselves on their own, right? Just by updating, 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 stay rolling. So I was kind of uh, thinking, well, it, go, it will get updated, right? So still am thinking exactly the same thing, but users start asking questions. So then you go and have a look and say, okay, let's figure it out. And I uh, believe we had a good information on manjaro.org at the bottom there. This is what we need to do. Add set font to binary section, etc make in it.conf. And the ISO builder had already that issue and it's solved. Now I'll remove it again from the ISO builder and see if it's, it gets solved on its own. Has it to do with kernels? Has it to do with system D? But there is something changed in the latest uh, stuff. So, voila, so this is the message we see. It's benign, right? Nothing, nothing is, is bad or is crashing. It's all good. So if you don't want to do this with us, it's fine. So what are they talking about? And then this makes it again a tutorial. There are things, right, on your machine that are set in the make init CPIO. This guy is actually telling what and how it should boot this thing in here in the boot actually these three guys right will be implemented will be changed if i type something else later on so n make n is nano make init cpio is the dot conf that we're gonna have a look at so basically instead of going to do this we thought we thought this guy right why not go in here with a terminal and just go in there and say, oh, that's not my password, I guess. This is, okay. So this is exactly the same thing, you see. It's just a editor and a terminal. And I do like to work in terminals. And here it says binaries. Binaries, set font. That's it. That's it. Not really. There is a follow-up. <laughs> set font is one thing. Control X, yes, you save it. That's one thing. Because we use this one, it's immediately sudo. So we can save. So that's that. And then they say you should execute this thing, and I agree totally. Sudo. Oh. So we need to check out, well, to rebuild all these things. So let's go back to boot. So you see what happens. Keep track of the, the numbers here. And this number, so this is 11.1, this is 71, and this is 11.9. All right. So when I type build me everything, if you're wondering what a capital P is, man, make init CPIO, init CPIO and read, right? And then you go ahead, take a look what happens to these, these figures here. 
they get built. It goes quickly, <laughs> but they will be changed and rebuilt, right? You see something happening there quickly and it's calling it. So that's it. This solves your solution. Do we need it? Frankly, I'm not going to bother with it. And I'm going to just leave the ISO builder without it. So I see if it's solved on its own without our intervention. All right. Cheers.